Hey guys, what's up? It's Hex here. And today I'm standing in front of our two desert houses. The reason I'm standing in front of the same tutorial that I did before is because I want to show you how to do variations of these houses. So let's get on with Okay, so first of all, this video is about making variations of houses. Now, you can do variations of any kind of house as long as it kind of has a, a semi-modular design. And what I mean by a modular design is that, like, um, if you look at our tutorial house from the last tutorial, you'll notice that each of these houses is built in sort of seven block um, seven by seven squares. So if we go here, one, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then this is the one of the next next uh, block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. And so then I've got seven by seven by seven uh, squares. Sorry, so just seven by seven, not seven by seven. It's like seven by seven by four, I guess, uh, squares. So the idea of it is then, okay, so that makes a nice house uh, for the tutorial, but we can actually vary this house up and you could probably see this right here. So here's some variations that I did. Uh, this very first variation, I've, I've varied up a couple of things. And the reason that you might want to vary things up is because like, let's say that you're building like a little desert town, like I'm going to be doing in the world of Hex. Well, uh, what you don't want to do is have every single building exactly the same because that would be kind of boring because if you've ever been to a, like a real town like some of the buildings are different than the, each other some of them are the same but some of them are different right so the idea is to take a theme like this and then to vary it up using different methods of stacking them or arranging them in different ways uh, so that you can get the variations um, another way to do the variations is to change the color palette and the textures and stuff of some of the blocks and so I messed with that a little bit too okay this first one right here is a variation of this guy and I apologize I, I broke this um, I actually recorded this before but the audio uh, got messed up I had like my microphone on like way too loud and I did not notice it and it was super distorted anyways there we go uh, so this one here as you can see what I've done is I varied up the color palette of the accent block so here we have acacia wood here we have jungle wood now to be honest I don't like the jungle wood that much maybe you like it but you could do this with like spruce or oak or whatever uh, to get some different variations so that, that's a possibility is to just change some of the accent colors and like I said I'm using this desert house as an example of variation but any house that has kind of a modular design like this or that you could come up with that has a modular design you can vary like this Okay, so this variation is very simple. All I did is I built the exact same house right here, except on this section where you see these uh, skylights right here, I built a little tower that goes up further. So the way that I did that was um, if this was the original house, the roof would have been, say, right uh, here, actually, right there. So that would have been the roof. And so then what I did instead is I just continued... Uh, with another layer. So basically this layer right here is the same as this layer and then I just went upwards from there. So uh, I've got this layer, then I've got the two sandstone layers and then I have the roof or sorry the window layer and then the the roof. Um, if you watch that tutorial and you know exactly what I'm talking about and if you look at the side you can you can see how this right here just repeats again up there. Okay then I took these um, sort of accent details and just continued them all the way to the top uh, this looks a little funky and that could probably be like that and that could work out or you could have it as a window. It doesn't matter. Um, and then, yeah, so that's all I did to create this is I just built this section on top. Then what I did is I built just a little stair over here so you can get into that area. And then instead of having my roof be a half slab above this like this, like on the original house, what I that just looked weird to me when I had it up against this section. So what I did is I just lowered it by a half a block so that it's right in line with that. And I think that looks good. It also creates this nice little patio area right here that I put some fences around. So you can see how you can use this original design and then vary it to make this, okay? Uh, the next one here is actually a variation of that house right there. It has that window design. You could do it with this as well. Remember, th these two just have like different windows, that's all. Um, so this one here, instead of making it um, an L shape, what I did is make a larger box on the bottom. So like here's a seven section, here's a seven section, and then here's a seven section, and a seven section, and so on. And then on the top of it, what I did is I just built a, another seven section that was centered on the top. And so then we have this sort of a little bit larger um, building that has, uh, you know, a little bit more room actually on the inside of it. So if you're trying to build slightly larger houses out of the same design, you can do that as well. Um, on the inside, I kind of like how it has like this sort of dome effect, or you could 
you know, um, continue the floor and then create that. Okay. So that's another example of variation. Another variation is like, notice how this one here and this one here have similar design, but I just changed up the windows. That's another way to vary things is just change uh, a small detail on the, on the, on each house, um, in order to make them different. Okay. Uh, the next one here I like a lot. Um, it has a taller tower and it has a double design. So basically I have a section of seven here, a section of seven out that way. So this is basically the same house as that one, except I have this extra section out this way. So I continued seven over here. And then instead of building a single tower like that one, I went up twice. So I went one and two, making a little bit taller house. And then as you can see, I put um, some fence around each one of these and a door. And I added this little balcony. Um, these should have been acacia wood. That was actually from my previous uh, take of this tutorial actually. Um, I was just demonstrating this, but basically the balcony is just two out from there like that. You can do other stuff. You can even make this thing like one block uh, big. So what I mean by one block is one like seven by seven and make just like a little tiny one. Or you could make um, just two together and make sort of just like a, a really kind of smaller one. Or you could even go bigger and like double this thing, right? So you could make like two of them out and then make it two stories tall to make like a like uh, quite a bit larger building. So there's lots of different possibilities for variation here. I just showed you three examples just to kind of get your mind flowing. But the idea of it is take a simple design for a house and then just expand it by um, either expanding it vertically or expanding it horizontally in some way. So that's it. That's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Um, if you want to see these built like individually, you should be able to figure them out just by watching the video if you want to like pause it. Uh, maybe I'll go around each one of them right now so you can kind of pause it if you want to kind of see how they're built. So there's this one and there's this one. But if you want like individual tutorials, let me know in the comments and I have no problem making a tutorial fully of one of these. That one was missing some fences over there. Did you notice that? All right. And here's this one. Okay. Pretty, pretty cool. This has been Hex. I hope that you enjoyed this little quick tutorial on how to make variations in houses. Perhaps you knew this already, but perhaps you didn't. And this is going to really help you in your world build some cool stuff. All right. Anyway, have a wonderful day and God bless.